In this video, we're going to focus on how we can move with our arrow keys on our keyboard up, down, left, and right on our chart. And you can see here, pay attention on our scale here. We're going here, we're going up, we're going down, and we can do so much more here. We will, we will cover some zoom in and zoom out features as well. So let's start to look how to explore this. So let's start to look how to use the keyboard keys to scroll or zoom in and zoom out in Chart.js. So the first thing that we're going to do here is of course to go to chartjs3.com getting started, this specific link here, and this you can find as well, or this link you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on here, copy the default code immediately. And if you want to understand what this code does, watch this video here, explains it all. Paste it all in there, cut it, cut that out, and then I'm going to put this in here, save, refresh, there we are. Now I want to quickly convert this into a nice bubble chart. So I'm going to say here, bubble, that's the type. And what I will do here is to remove this and here change this as well. The data here will be in a different structure because we have a bubble here. So we say curly braces, X, and then what I will do here is I'll say just math.random and here multiply by 10. So we have value of between one and 10. Now we do the same one here for the y axis. We have this one, and finally we're going to say here for the uh, r axis we can do here maybe times 20, so we get a nice visual bubble. Copy this, and I'm going to duplicate this just multiple times. There we are. And maybe to make it even more interesting, let's duplicate that a few more times. So we have like 100 data points, and that should be more than enough. So if I save this now, refresh, there we are, we get this bubble chart here, and we have all of these data here. And what I want to do now is I want to start here, I want to zoom in here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say comma, I'm going to say a min value of zero. That's a minimum value, and the max value will be one. Meaning I will start at this point, but more specifically this bracket here, or this block here. And I'm going to say here for the x, scale well let's save this first so you will see you will see that it will be not only on this y scale here but now of course for the x scale i want to do the same so i'm going to see x scale let's copy this min and max comma say there we are so now we have this nice zoom in item here only for from zero to one zero to one here so now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a function and this function will be based on our keyboard keys here. So to do this, I'm going to create a quick item here. So let's put in here, basically what we call an add event listener, but here we're just going to trigger it immediately. So once, so we're going to say document, basically it will be triggered. And this is very important. When you do this on document, it's not really the best way to do it, especially if you have multiple chart multiple items on here but if you would have like a full screen imagine you have a model and with a full screen that is probably the best way to do it where you have a zoom in item of a chart and you can then use a keyboard so what i'm going to say here is on key down basically when we press the key down at that moment you want to do something so i can say here this and it will say a key pressed uh, which key did we press eventually or that's the key function so then what I'm going to say here, when we have this key pressed, well, we can do here the following. We're going to say your console log. Let's see if we can just record whatever this will be. Save this, refresh, open up developer tab. Now I'm going to press, and you can see here, apparently it doesn't work. Oh, of course, sorry, because I'm doing that here. So what I need to do is I need to click here on the window or the document and then key up now. You can see here, we get here the key up. This is the arrow up code. And you will see your key code is 38. So if I do down, let's go back here. Then have another one, and then we say left, right, there we are. Arrows, all of them here, and you get the key code. So this key code is for us important, because with that, we can recognize which keyboard uh, key we selected. So we're going to use this now. So what I'm going to say here is the following. We're going to use a switch. A function basically we'll look through the item and we'll check what is the case what have we selected which option have we select or which 
button did we press? Did we press arrow up? Yes or no? If no, continue on. Did we press arrow down? Yes or no? And etc. etc. So what we're going to do here is the following. And I'm going to say here, basically, these are the key values here. This is 38. And if I'm not mistaken, if you look at the left key, it is 37. So 37 is left. Up is 38. Down would be 40. Then right is basically uh, 39. So what I'm going to do is I will start here with the key of the switch. We're going to check what, how are we going to compare that with this dot key code which is basically this number here. And then what we're going to do here, and it's basically almost like an if statement or a if else, and then we're going to say a case number, well, let's say 37, which is the value of 37. What I can do here, console log, and then this console log here, which we can say here, key, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this should be key left. So that's key left. And then what we're going to do here is I'm just going to duplicate this and then for every other case. So if this is not the situation, what we're going to do here is, oh no, sorry, if it is the situation, if uh, the key is the right one matching, we have this console log and then we're going to break it, meaning we're going to stop this JavaScript function immediately because there's no need to continue on because we found the answer. Because we expect only one key to be pressed at a time, at a time. So if that's not the case, then I'm going to say here case number 38. And if I'm not mistaken, this was key up. So I'm going to just put that in there. You can say here key up. Then we say you break again. And what you can do, of course, is you can just duplicate this two more times. 39 and 40. So what I'm going to do here, this was key uh, right. It was the right side and this is down. So if I save this, refresh here, all right, and now let's try this. If I go down, you can see here what is happening. Does it work? No, doesn't work yet. All right, so we should expect here something, but it's not showing as expected. So let's see what's going on here. So after quick checking, I will discover where the error is, and it's this one here. So pay attention here. So let me show you as well. If I go here and click on a key, open it up, look at the key code, and you can see you capitalize letter C for the code. So my bad, put in C here, save that, refresh. All right, let's confirm now, click, go, there we are. So the moment I press a key, it will indicate which key I'm pressing. And let's remove this, we don't need that. And of course, not like that. So let's refresh. Now here, try again, there we are. So now this works. So that would mean we can now play around with it. So it recognizes it nicely. And what I will do is just to make sure I go to indent these items, each of those. So it's easy to understand. Uh, case, of course, the case not, but the brook. Save, refresh, click here. All right. So this works. So you can see here. So now what I want to do is basically the following. If I have the left key, what I want to, I want to go to the left more on the X scale, meaning I want to go down eventually, but the final one is zero. So I, if it's zero on the X scale, I shouldn't go lower than zero. So that is just a solid rule I want to make. So how do we do this? What I'm going to do here is the following. I'm just going to say here, because what I want to do is I want to trigger here the item here, and I want to get this one here, the max, I want to go down. So what I will say here is my char, because I'm going to go from my char to config, and from config we go to options, scales, and then X. So um, my char, config dot options dot scales dot X, and then dot max. So I'm going to say here max will be minus equal, well, minus equal one. Basically, I want to decline it every single time. So if I save this, if I do now something here, and I go, now I click, press, all right. So it doesn't work yet. Uh, of course, why doesn't work? My chart dot update. Of course, I need to update the item, save that refresh. Go here, now you can see. What happens now, the scale suddenly disappears. And the reason why it disappears is because we have this 
minimum value here. So what we could do maybe is say just begin at zero, and if we want to go into negative, we could go here. So then we can say here, and then we can go, well, all right, surprisingly enough, it just doesn't want to, but that's all right. And even then, I was expecting this should work, but anyway, doesn't matter. Not important for now, because we're just still exploring this item here. So what I want to do here now is we have this, and then what I want to do here, just an if statement. And this if statement will make sure that it will block it. So if we are on max on one, in that case, there's no need to go lower than that. So then I'm going to say here an if statement, which if, so we say if this item here, I'm just going to grab this here for now, equals one, in that case, this equals one. We set it on one. So it's not allowed to go lower than one. If it's one, then it's fine, but it, then it will maintain that. But if it's beyond one in that case we can go lower so that will be the next one so that's going to do it here is going to copy this we can just copy this entire code to make sure we copy this correctly there we are and then what i'm going to do here is on the key up i'm going to work on the key up and because the key up up stands for the vertical level so we're going to focus on the y here and then we say you know negative but positive we want to add one every single time and then our add should be to a max of 10. So that'll be more than enough for now because our our values will be only within the 10 range. So that will be it. So if it's 10 or beyond, it will be set on 10. So if I save this now and refresh, you can see nothing happens. But if I put the key up, pay attention here, we're now going up here nicely until we should hit 10. Surprisingly enough, we are able to go beyond 10. So we have to just fix that one if config this equals 10 let's do the equal not strict thing even not strict but just to double equal to see if there is what is the reason for that all right interesting we have to check that later on i'm going to check why that is not working but that's all right later on we'll focus on that so i'm going to copy this now and then what i will say here is for the right and the right is as well plus of plus but it will be on the x value x and x and then save i should expect here that this is solid am i correct here all right max is one all right so let's save that refresh let's double check i go to the right side i am surpassing this all right i figured out what's the reason our condition doesn't make any sense it should be if it is bigger than 10 or 10 or equal to 10 in that case 10 same here my bad so now we have this and then we can just copy this one here but then for the value or the key down so we have here the key down but then here of course the y value not the x value because we are in the horizontal level there we are and then we're going to say here will be if it is smaller or equal to one maintain one and here smaller or equal to one maintain one that's now all correct save refresh all right so now if i press down it doesn't work if i press up it works then here 10 is the eventual final value then if i go here there we are of course if you look at this we're not really going to the right side if or the way we go to the right side is by expanding it so you might say well hold on we're not really scrolling to the right because we're just expanding or zooming out more and more until we hit the full screen so that is correct we could play around with that by doing here on the min the same item so what i'm going to do here just for now but of course there must be a more thought out process for this so i'm going to copy this and then i'm going to say this and then what we can do here i'm going to put in the min we're going to increase the min but the min has a certain uh restriction which is if this would be not bigger than 10 but bigger or larger or equal to 9 we set on 9 that will be the ultimate max so it's from 9 to 10 that will be the only zoom so if i save this refresh now if i go to the right you can see here now we just we're truly scrolling to the right side we 9 to 10 there we are then if we go back here and as you can see it is still slightly buggy here we have to work on this one eventually to figure out what's going on 
one here. I'm still trying to figure out this part here. Um, uh, or, or probably this is the one. Sorry. This should be minus. Or plus. No, no. That should be plus. That is correct. Uh, let's see here. Where can we solve that one? Let's try the left. I'm going to do this. Copy that. Go in here. And I think it's not buggy, but it's probably my code is not correct. So we say here, this, the min should be not lower than zero. So save, refresh. Let's see if this really works, or did I just have a mistake in my code? Or does my chart really have? All right, as you can see here, now it starts to work better. Although we are able to go in the negative, I'm not expecting this. So if it is, if this is smaller, or equal to zero. All right, try it one more time. As you can see, this is quite tricky, even for me. So then I move here, more, more, more. There we are, can we go down? All right, so now we have that. What I want to do is just going up here, this out to zoom out, zoom out function, but just only on that part here. Let's try that. So basically, same methodology, or I can just copy this one here. Then here, this will be, of course, min, min, and min, and then this should be not bigger than 9. 9 is the ultimate max, and let's copy this, and we have this one here, just put that in there, but this is the negative, we're going down, and here it should not be smaller or equal to 0, this is all the min, and then here, if that is the case, if it's or if it's smaller or equal to zero, we're going to put in here zero. All right, so let's see if I can move now here. There we are, and can we go up? As you can see here, now we're going up and only explore one specific segment. Of course, you might say, how do we zoom out? How do we zoom in? Or how do we do all the other things? There's still a lot more for me to discover and to explore, but this is one of the items here that is really fascinating. I really enjoy this one. So. That's one of these. Of course, if you want to understand zoom in and zoom out, I have another video as well I'm going to show you. So that's another video. Although what we just discussed here works as well on zoom in, zoom out, of course, you have to rebuild or rethink how to build that one. However, I have a specific video here that will have easy buttons for zooming in, zooming out, and reset the chart as well. And this is just experimental as well, but those two combine them with zoom in, zoom out, left and right scrolling up and down and left and right will be very interesting especially for other projects in the near future that will cover so i highly recommend this one as well then if you want to understand how to do this